you trip all over the place. Maybe you can get some more sleep again. Yeah. Where are we going? <gasps> right in the crowd. No, nothing. If we can, I'll take you there. Maybe you start uh, putting if it helps in you sleep. Hair, tying it up in small braids. You don't know. Uh, it just makes it. me feel better. I feel more comfortable there too. Look like a high elf for some reason. I like the plant. Reminds me of her. Vanora also has that drug that makes you sleep. Past, he can't sleep. Is it a drug? Is that I don't think that's a good idea. No, different kind of uh, restlessness. With Alpha, they are very tasty. Man, he was hoping that. Uh, okay, yeah. You can have a moment Hi. to yourself that will increase your patience. I'm just Hi, waiting for. Right I mean, Arn to no. tell me my axe is ready. You gonna come to me as a Northerner again? Well, as a Buddha for. Maybe I shouldn't yeah, go to the group. You, Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> you better, you better Why? What if something yeah, happens? No, no, <laughs> well, you are around people who are best to deal with it. A very beautiful northerner. What if I... What if someone or something what gets hurt or damaged? Well, we'll camp out in the bushes or something. Then we were away from things. Just lay in the grass or something. That seems fine. Mm -hmm. I know you're used to thinking about the worst case scenario, but going through the what ifs and such, not a great way to live. Mm. What if you get there and everything feels fine? Hello? Then I can sleep, maybe. Right. Can we help? Who's Wait, this random Santa? peasant? Is he? Who's a random peasant? Just, uh... What the fuck is happening right now? This just got so hostile all of a sudden. To get a commission. <laughs> it's just Sanders in plain clothes. Oh no, there, there's a blonde peasant over it's here. Food? Sanders doesn't have plain it's clothes. Just... He's out <laughs> brandishing a knife at us. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong? What's so funny? That's the smallest knife I've ever seen. Wait, wait, wait. Come back out here, Sanders. Wait. Well, Step back. It's step a normal back in front of you. Pick around the corner. Pick around the corner again. Pick around the corner. No, no, no. Let me see again. Let me see. I will go fuck myself then, Sanders. <laughs> You, you, I, the Sanders, fuck? I, I'm just gonna say it. Sanders, what, it's I'm my normal say it. clothes. It, I it look like a mug. You, like you know what? I like you about how you should dress in Grodio. <laughs> I, I was... Leave him alone. I was <laughs> gonna say... <laughs> I don't know... I don't know why. I don't know how. I just know he looks like you'd find him in a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just looks the same time. How do you do, fellow Gradians? Well, we're just waiting for, uh, um... At some point I'm expecting brains. Can you do a quick sharpening job? Nothing too serious. So, once it starts raining, those clothes are gonna be good, but it's a little early still. You know, you know, you know, there's no reason no one's needed rain right. Make sure the shoes were not color. You're not gonna shank me with that, are you? I have, like, several knives I'm gonna shank you with. follow a yellow brick road. <laughs> How are you doing? Man, I, can't wait to finally, I can't wait to finally destroy everything in his shop all at once. Oh god. Oh. At least he doesn't have a hat. Tyler, are you enjoying the new uh, grinding stone? No, everyone else always sits there before I get a chance to use it. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it well, is a comfortable a stool. That's true. I haven't had a comfortable stool well, in ages. Well, I'm not allowed to sit on the tables, so... 
smells like... That's true, this is a place of business. <laughs> can't sit on the table. Yeah, and I'm waiting for my, I'm waiting for your lord to uh, come out and tell yeah. me my oh, business can he begin. He takes his time. I'm He's waiting for my ex. Human. Yes, okay. oh, which means Dragon's I am going to be very patient and right wait for him. <laughs> have you, uh, <sighs> let people know that you're looking for him? No, yes, he knows I'm here. Oh. Great. <laughs> so he's I been pinged like I'm three here. times that people want him. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we're just... Well, it's like uh. already... He is going to be so fucking mad when he comes over here and sees all these people standing <laughs> in front of the Okay, we well, can go in the back door. At least he knows why I'm here. I appreciate it. Nice to meet the others. I have the keys to the back door. Well, you want to go in? We can go in. We have set. We have seats and such. Yeah. All right. Oh wow. Yeah, let's go in and crowd him. Let's go and crowd him. Come on. Yeah. We're moving this. We're moving this Come on. Side. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the Lord gave us permission. We're coming into your home. I can't sure, believe he just was just right there. The <laughs> They're still coming in. They're still coming in. <laughs> A lot of people want to talk to you. It was Lenora's idea. It was Lenora's idea. <laughs> I want to talk to you, she wants to talk to you, Dredge wants to talk to you. I just wanted to see it. I, I literally, finally, got into uncomfortable clothes, was about to sit down, and there's a fucking stampede that comes in. Fine. So your your so voice is still a little funny. muffled. You should, you should play. Right, so oh, okay, <laughs> just letting you know. I could. We can build like a little. Alright, everyone uh, take a seat. I can move the wooden like, A little wooden. To everyone. I mean, I could do that. Hey, Marcus, you make things out of wood. We like get, totally like, abandoned Sanders out there by himself, too. Roll the paper thing and get you I, make I a little this. wooden box that fits in. Sanders. Sanders. <laughs> Oh, fuck Sanders. <laughs> now serving number 305. Yeah, I could do Wait, that. Wait, sorry, yes. Alexander, because he's not in his imperial clothing right now. Ah, uh, fuck him. Oh, Alexander, okay. I don't, Where did Dredge go? He's still outside, he's waiting. Oh, he do you want to bring him inside? Oh. Since everyone's here. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in here either. What do you want from me? No. Alright. Everything? You wanted to talk to him. You go first. Oh, I'll go first? Okay. Oh, hopefully Dredge is saying? not in here because I don't want him to hear this. Well, go upstairs <laughs> then. Ask you a question. Go back out. So, what oh, God. Uh, she almost died to a great orc again because she got yeah, yeah, pierced yeah, by a javelin basically through the chest. I'm wanting to know because Dredge wants a payment of a favor from me in order to. I want her to spar with him in those little dirt things out there so she can that's the closest thing that she has to an orc that won't kill her but she could actually train with to be able to defend herself properly oh, hey, sorry you do know? it these <laughs> things saying are going Jordy, too. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in. Do you? Do you? You just hear? If you remember. I, I, I no, heard that he was yelling. Safe in a one -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> They're not like the green orcs. It's not a lack of training on her part. We were all waiting for him to come out. Are. And then the moment that uh, we, we were gonna go in, he was coming out. I and so we just started piling in the door. Initial push we had done and he was right the there. Cries. <laughs> they almost killed Morden and myself. <laughs> These things are strong. Amazing. There was like 20 people that came in the door and you just started Practice screaming. Practice isn't Jeez. bad, and it's good that you encourage it. <laughs> but... It's just what they are. It's why they're so much of a threat. Mm. But I'm not against it, but what does that have to do with me? 
Oh, and gentlemen, I just wanted to know, you know Dredge better than... <laughs> God damn it, right nobody there, told you about that. <laughs> I, I said it out. You can ask him, Dredge. I am very good at going around unseen and unheard. <laughs> no, it's okay. I said All right. Loud. Hey, Dredge. Dredge. Well, she wanted to wait a couple of days, anyways. Ask your thing. Also, she's going to hand you. Uh, she's going to hand you a parchment. This is for you. For, I want you. Well, to... they're handing something off, so I'll be polite and wait. Take a look at it real quick. No, interrupt oh, them. Uh, Chaos. So, what you'll read in there, Lord Earnhardt, is a crudely drawing of what would look like <laughs> a blanket over a horse, which would be, you know, Someone. the normal <laughs> gambeson that would go over a horse with your a crudely drawn griffin and stuff like that. I'm wanting to get something like that made for kind of, for him as a present. What do you think? I think it would be wonderful. I would be most grateful. Marin could probably make such a thing if you gave them the proper measurement. Okay. I just don't want him to do it. Yeah, fuck him. Don't tell him shit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Very well. Alright. I got all mine out of the way. Dredge. Thank you, Lord Ornhard, for your precious time. Yep. I appreciate You're your time. Your turn, your turn. Of course, Venora. It's always a pleasure to see you. <clears throat> Venora will be will be heading Venora will be heading out there after this so go ahead and we'll catch up with you uh, okay I'll, I'll let them know what I know why you're here <clears throat> yeah I didn't have to say anything I know I didn't there's a potent potion there oh my god boom <laughs> Oh. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> How the fuck? Oh, it's just as good as I imagined. Taking us 60 <laughs> days. Yeah, 60 days to make that. Test it on. <laughs> you have the logs. <laughs> yes, I have the logs on back if you want to test it real fast. Why did you point at him? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you? Yeah, let's do it right now. Oh, come on, oh, come no, on. This one oh, God. We're gonna have two moccasins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> two Christmases. Yay. A birthday at Mum's house and Dad's house. <laughs> no. It's not as fun as you'd think. <laughs> let, me, let me help you get these giant fucking trees out here. You remember to do that, Marcus. Hmm? Oh, yes. here, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can let you. Uh, foo -foo and there you go. <laughs> now you can. You just gotta grab it. There you go. <laughs> hold on. Oh, if you give me a second. Um, oh, it's right here. Cool. Broke it. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> Focus. Sorry. Sorry. I, was, I, was, I wanted to play some like combat music. Limp dick concertina. All right. <laughs> that is a full fucking elm log. It is almost a foot in diameter. Give it a shot. <clears throat> <laughs> what are you Dredge smoking? rolling. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, How no. heavy is that thing? With a 17, Dredge, <laughs> you swing the axe down with all of your strength and it splits in half. <laughs> Holy oh. shit! <laughs> uh, no. We spent so long thinking if we, sh we could, we didn't stop to think if we should. <sighs> if we should. <laughs> <laughs> What have we done? <laughs> this, okay? no, he has become death. Because remember, but eventually, <laughs> eventually this gets put with the runes that Mordidin has. Oh no. Oh, no, no the, the runes. Means. <clears throat> yeah, add magic to it. Yeah, that's great. Look, remember, the other half of the favor was making it glow. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right. Um, do, oh, I do, <laughs> do you need on? I don't right, need on. So I need you to actually. Three. All right. We need to quickly oh. talk with on, and then we'll come and grab you. Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds good. Sure is. That's okay. I'll get to talk to him one day. You'll get it. Who's next? Sarah and I. Probably inside. <coughs> She's cough smoke at me. <coughs> it's the good shit, it's man. Why is it spicy? It's very spicy. I'm glad you're happy with the dredge. It took a fuck ton of materials and nigh on a month. <laughs> it was worth the way. Close at that, too. Uh, this is going to serve me well outside of time, outside of town. <laughs> I'm glad. I have served you well. I'm not going to use this in the arena because there's no way I can uh, fight someone to a yield with this thing. <clears throat> no, I think you just pull it out and you win. Daggers. Used it in the steel. <laughs> Had it for Thanks. good luck. Do you want to go first or should I? Right. I'm going to tell him pretty much everything. I hope that's okay. Right, I'm listening. I think it's best. All right. Um, well, I'll go first. Should I wait outside? Yes. You saw us leaving earlier, myself, Sarah, and Venora. We were heading out to the, what was it, the east, northeast, to try and find someone who supposedly has some knowledge that might help Sarah with her affliction that she has. The only person other than Fulgrith, apparently. We rode out there dismounted and looked around for this person. When we found him, he was being detained by the border guard from the Edge Mythlossian side. The issue was, he was well over 800-500 meters from the wall on our side. That would have no jurisdiction then. Which is why I rode up and said as such, um... They asked who the fuck I was and why I would say that. I said I was Lord Erhard's heir, and that I would take this person into custody, rather than have them do it. I didn't want to have an incident where we had to flash powder people or start a fight or anything, so I did that. I didn't want to have to drop the name, but I hope that's okay. Exactly as you should. It's your jurisdiction. You are Lord. The elves do not own the province. Mm. The Radards do, and the Radards have put us in a position of strength <clears throat> and power. I don't know who this person is, or if the right thing was done in terms of securing them, but what you did was just and correct. Mm. And it doesn't matter what the risk is, because it was the right thing to do. Good. I was worried about that. Um, officially on the report that I'm going to write, it will be that um, we came across him being detained. We took him back to Nortis, talked to him, searched him. Turns out he's an alchemist that just got a little too close to the wall, even though it was well away from the wall. When we realized he wasn't a threat, we turned him loose. That's what I'll write down, at least. I am proud of you. <sighs> Quick thinking. Thank you. And well thought. The issue was, though, is that they were pretty hesitant to release him to my custody, but when they realized they didn't have a leg to stand on, they said, and I quote, we'll go back and tell the emissary about this. 
Emissary. Emissary. We're sending word to the emissary as well, but the emissary... Have they not reached word that he's missing? On that as well, Venora yesterday apparently went through her forest whatever it is to try and find the location of this emissary. Apparently, he's not even in the province anymore. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure. Remember, mm. uh, Mirandel said he got the fucking <clears throat> fucky wockies from looking at him. True. Who knows what that thing is capable of. If he's anything like Fulgrith and what Mirandel has told me of him, Could who knows hiding. if Venora would be able to see them through the trees. True. Well, the only it... other thought I had was if your friends have already done something. Apparently they're going to talk to the emissary, so however that ends up. These are border guards, though. You'd think they would know if he was missing. They'd be the first people to know if they're looking for him and such. Well, the only way they would know if the word was sent back. Hmm. I don't know if there's been any official communiques from the Radards to the Eshmetolossian <clears throat> border. But I do think that if anyone would know, it would be Vezra. I talked to him, actually. He was there, after all. Apparently it's a shit show over there. It's pretty much close to martial law, as good as the elves can get it to be. And apparently he heard about the, the um, emissary, too. So if he heard it when he was that far deep, then... I assume most but people the did. Gods would know. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, which means it might be assuming you don't. Mm. Furthermore, I don't know if he's talked to you yet, but apparently there is a drow emissary in the capital of Ejmithalos for the first time in centuries. Mm -hmm. Galil had said something similar, <clears throat> so it must be true. That is strange. Perhaps the drow are looking to come back into the fold of civilization rather than be separate. Mm. I'm not sure why they would send an emissary unless they were trying to come to some sort of agreement. But I don't know enough to be able to say. Just figured I'd appraise you. Not my expertise. Good that you do, my boy. That's... All I have to say on my piece. Very quickly before we move on to whatever's next. Over the next few days, I want you to be prepared for a prolonged stay somewhere else. I need you to make sure you have armor ready. Make sure your weapons are sharpened. Take some time to get some flash powder if necessary health potions, antidotes. I'm going to be sending you, and you alone, with a small delegation, officially, in my stead to some of the surrounding towns of North. <clears throat> You're going to be acting in a official capacity. Mm -hmm. You'll be representing the Earhart and the Redods by proxy. You're going to be helping settle some disputes in some of the nearby towns and clear out any corruption that you can find because we've gotten complaints of corrupted officials that are siphoning silver and gold away from what should be getting paid to their liege lords, the barons. Right. We need to secure that revenue stream so we can wage our war against a robber baron. I will also be sending Aegon. He will be acting as your personal bodyguard if necessary. He has his own business to attend to. But he knows that your survival is top priority. He fucking owes me. You'll see it done. Drudge will be going as well along with likely Nolzus. They are going to be a distraction for you while also attaining their own goals. <sighs> I have a feeling that you'll have your official face during the day and do your work later. During the evening, Nolzus will be scheduling fights at the arena. Dredge is still trying to get his name out there. 
every single settlement that you go to, we will do the same thing. He will fight their champion, and it will be a big spectacle. So he has his goals there that align with us. He knows <clears throat> he would be a destruction. <clears throat> so I need you to start preparing for them. I can do that. Make sure your good clothes look good. Uh, I lost the bathhouse ghost to spruce it up a bit. Good. <sighs> All right. Next issue. Last night at uh, at the keep. We were scaling the building as planned. We had the grappling hook, everything was fine. I wasn't even... I wasn't even... struggling with anything. But suddenly my, uh... My arm... fused into the stone. At the elbow. Fused into... What? What does that even mean? I... I don't know. I became... The stone. Which arm? Nothing about it seems stone anymore. Blush and bone. Though the skin, what's... It almost looks like a recovering scar. I can't explain it. It was as if pushing a hand into sand or something. Done? Right? Well... <sighs> But then I've seen a few strange things happen with you. I don't know what they are and what they mean, but... It hasn't killed you, so that's good. But we don't know. You can't Eventually be sure it that. will. I am. Um... What makes you so sure all of a sudden? That man that we sought out. He's very deliberate with what he writes on that little notepad of his. But it's for good reason. He told me exactly what's going to happen if I just let this fester. I'm going to kill myself or someone around me that I care about. So it'll get worse. It is. Every day. All right, then how do we help you? It's that simple. What do we do? There is a metal. The same metal that Tang is made of. The Clarium. It is coveted by the dwarves. Clarium. We would need to... It. Neither of of... had I until today. What do the dwarves call it? Star stone, something like that. Star. Star, star metal. metal maybe. <clears throat> star metal. Mm. Star yeah. metal. <laughs> Are you? You're joking, like actual Unless star. Unless the fucker was sadistically lying to me. That's what he said. <clears throat> I know what star metal is. My father's sword was made of star metal. It was one of the most impressive blades I had ever seen. It's twice the size of any man's. Well... More of a great sword than a long sword. Here's another... thing to drop on you. Apparently Tang is made of the same stuff. Tang is made of star metal. 
If what he's My saying is true. Made of, uh, <clears throat> Arkham, uh, Arkham Merriam, whatever the fuck. Uh, I have no idea. This is not my expertise. The, the word you said before, uh, Merriam. Did the same they thing. They are one and the same. No shit. Clurium is the elven word for star metal. I've spent my whole life thinking those were two separate things. I I didn't even know either of them existed. Not only do I we only need knew that him. metal. I only knew about uh, a clurium because of back in Adwick it was brought up mm. after they went to Elry. They found something out about a clurium. It was someone in Elry building Warforged. Primitive, made out of wood and basic metals, but no one ever really told me the details. Tang was there, though. It was Tang, Captain Amelia, Ian Dell, uh, fucking traitor Blaze. Fuck, who else? Was Cade there? No, I don't think he was. Clifford was there. He almost died several times. <clears throat> Sounds like Clifford. Those are the people to talk to. Actually, was Marcus there as well? I can't remember. <clears throat> but perhaps they know something about a clearing. That's where they found out what Tang was made out of. Not only do we need it, but we need to find a forge and a forge master who knows how to work with it. Now, now it sounds like we he's have pulling you fucking none of those leg. Things. The only people who know how to work star metal are some of the oldest, and I'm like legendary smiths and some of the oldest clans in Vinfolda. I only know this because my father's sword was a gift. It's given to him for a very old friend of his that he had at Vunfolda very long ago. The thing could cut through anything. I never saw my father sharpen it once. Never lost its edge. It was a beautiful thing. <laughs> could almost swear it glowed at night. It didn't, but the metal just seemed so light. It was an illusion of sorts. Outside of that, I'm afraid I don't know anything else. But you get your hands on that. I hope it's not integral to what you need. Which brings me to the second thing. This impossible task that he's given. Even if we try... It will take weeks to find this metal. It will take weeks to seek out a dwarf willing to help, which I don't believe is even possible. Have you spoken to the thing? I have not. We mentioned that we were aware of the existence of star metal and he <coughs> shut down, he got very defensive immediately. We didn't mention anything about you, as that's your story to tell, but we talked about Tang, at least. Um, but this, um... Fucking dwarves. This, this potion seller guy, he specifically said if Tang were to give up one of his limbs, that would be enough to make what we would need to help her. Obviously, we don't want to do that. But then that got me down the train of thought. Tang mentioned this thing about um, assembly chambers, areas where they create and retrofit Warforged. If we found something like that, there may be parts of this star metal that we would need, possibly. change that Fulgrith that kind put of on her. Place. That kind of place. 
If it is anything like the places we have found, would be crawling with some sort of evil. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we know where one is? There's a theory. Nethnimalorian, whatever it's called. Is this really your only option? It's either that or I go away. I leave and I try to f figure it out on my own. I go back to the Underdark. I go back to where I was born, and I start there. I refuse to stay here. And get one of you killed. Doesn't sound like there's much of a choice, is there? Mm. We'll have to figure out where this ruin is. And if it's near to the elven border, we'll have to secure it. And it'll have to be an official presence. So the elves don't interfere. <clears throat> I mentioned this when... means we need the Institute. I mentioned this when everyone started talking about it, but we'd need to secure the province first. We can't move around there until the Robber Baron's men are dealt with and the Orcs are dealt with and such. <clears throat> My concern is that if a party is down there, other factions might try to interfere, <clears throat> might get desperate. Elf, Drow, Robber Baron. Agreed. Even if we'd go in through an official presence like that, that would just alert them to them knowing that we know, but... We have no choice. Yeah. What I can offer... is while I cannot delve down there myself, because I cannot risk that. I can find an excuse take a contingent of redard men and secure this ruin and hold it until your mission is done it's something that you need to start planning for start finding out who can go who would be helpful you know what might be down there you know what we might face you start picking prevalent people have them start preparing I will bring forward to the barons that this might be a source of some of the unrest here, and that it is in our best interest to perhaps bring a representative of the Institute down there. Cade. Exactly. The last time I went down into a cave with Cade. And your son? Do you want my personal opinion? I think he should be with you. Securing the province. Or securing the ruin. I don't want him down there. <coughs> if it was... A different situation, I wouldn't even give him a choice. We have had our differences, sir. Um, brutal differences. That I cannot, in clear conscience, subscribe someone to a fate in which they have no control over what happens to them in those <clears> 
if he wants to go, I will not stop him. But I will remind him that if I lose him, I lose everything. You are a grown man and can make your own decisions. I'll start my own prep for what is to come. I'll be, um, heading to the grove tonight, just so you're aware. This house is more often empty than it ever was. The residual smoke from the pipe weed starts to slowly leave the room. There's a heavy feeling in the air. Not only because of the task at hand and what it means and God, the steps to try and recover something we did not know we had. But the choice is made it is a strange feeling. Two years ago, three years ago, Saravith, you still remember having a dagger pressed to your neck as you were picked up and held by your collar. You still remember the reflection of the stars from the lake as it had become night. The genuine anger that was present and the underlying hurts underneath. But just now, when the conversation took place and what was said was said, there was no anger this time. Concern. The sadness is still there. <clears throat> We're gonna change into my armor. We're back down. The leather footsteps echo through the empty house as you make your way up the stairs. It feels like the topics that you have discussed again and again get heavier and heavier. Sure, the province is in a mess, and sure, there's a lot that especially you have to do now with your new responsibilities as Lord Erhard. And of course, as a man that's willing to do things that others are not, in the shadow. You walk a strange line, Kyler. Bathed in both light and dark. One foot in a bright future and one foot in a dark past. Strangely meeting in the center to make a very unique man. Your whole life has been about taking risks. You don't want to die down there. In fact, the thought is scary. But she's scared, too. And one phrase sticks in your head, and you know, you know, it's why your father said nothing. Through courage and wisdom, we lead. <sighs> the 
you spent a long time feeling alone. Flippantly accepting you were alone. Being angry and hateful and spiteful because the world only kicked you down again and again and again until it threw chains on you. Again and again and again. It sucked everything you had out of you. Your life, your hope, love. You've been stripped of it, laid bare. Flesh and scars and nothing more. And it has been hard. And then the footsteps echo. Lights, leather, steps. And you look up for a moment and you see the reddish yellow eyes look back at you from a bit of the shadow in the house. And you realize you're not as alone as you used to be. Ready to take a ride? Nice rock. Yeah. <clears throat> Faring well tonight, Gail. It's always an Hello. elf disrupting Pardon? the darkness. <laughs> you okay? Yes, I was just looking to pass along something to your father. Nice. Someone wanted me to take a look into a certain area northwest of the Eshma border. Northwest, northeast. In that general northern area. So, just a heads up, if you can pass that along. Hmm. I'm about to head out for the night, but when I see him tomorrow, I will. Now, oh, it appears we're both heading out for the night. <laughs> I'm making breakneck speed to the grove. We'll be heading there at more of a meander. Now I'm going to see if I can divert one of my soldiers to help train one of their kin. <laughs> so, but for now, I will take this <clears throat> light source away from you. I'm fairly certain it's blinding. Just a bit. A fair eve. <laughs> Never. Never. Sir Tiberius. Pardon the intrusion. Of course. How can I mean to overhear you? Ah, it's okay. Well, the Lord had mentioned he wished to speak to me today. So I was wondering if that had been changed. I understand there was events. To... I think we're okay for today. I think I got most of everything out of you yesterday. I'm more concerned about what he has to say to you, if I'm mm. honest. Been doing a little reading, oh, well, actually. Just... Mm. I see. Well. Once I know a little more, you will I'll understand. Come back and we can talk, I suppose. Mm. As the saying goes, the preview of one eye is but another. <laughs> All stories come, though, in truth from your own. Mm. I like to be a bit more prepared when I go in. That way, you don't have to explain basic things to me. Mm. Well, I'll be curious in what you turn up. I'll seek you out. Have Wish a good night. A very good evening. Mm. 
Maelstrom time. <clears throat> maelstrom time. It is maelstrom time. <sighs> We love Maelstrom. He's a good boy. <sighs> love him. Maelstrom. Oh my god, who the fuck is that? Oh my god. Claim a board, Sarah. We're going to the fucking grove. <laughs> Anjolf, help me! <sighs> Sit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, you. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Comfy. Mm-hmm. I need to find flat ground. One second. Oh no. This fucking shit is happening again. <clears throat> Bad horse. Bad horse. Bad horse. Bad horse. Right. Ta da. Where's Marin? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I talked to her about it. She's gonna get back to me tomorrow. If we can get them, it'd be handy. Good. So big things coming, hey? I suppose we need to prepare. We do. I'm gonna start carrying two crossbows. Are you gonna do wield? I think I can manage it. Um, I'm not sure about at the same time, but <laughs> it would be nice to have an extra shot. Mm hmm. We need to get you a squire. Can reload it for you. Squire. Mm. I'll be buying a slave very soon. Or I should say I'll be freeing someone from slavery. I thought she was already freed, or is there another person now? I don't know. I haven't seen anything that I like yet, but <laughs> you never know. You just want to buy I one. want a challenge. I just I don't want these prissy skinny elves I want something I want something that I can learn from I want someone that I can make bonds with that will protect me with every breath you know but someone at the same time that I'm I don't know. It sounds kind of fucked up, but I just want someone to be able to help me without fear of losing them. Someone disposable. I guess. Someone you want to Sounds fucked when you say it that way. <laughs> learn from and develop a bond with. Something like that. Which now, saying it out loud, it seems ridiculous. If we fall in this fucking <laughs> Normally we go through this pretty fine. I think they made us <laughs> narrower. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> Good nice. boy. 
Good job, Maelstrom. Nice tippy-tappy feet. Oh, he just trusts me explicitly, considering he can't see, remember? Oh my god, you're right. That's terrifying to think about. He just trusts me that I'm not going to lead him into the water. I obviously can't go through the woods I or whatever. I love that bond at, for you guys. At, at breakneck speed or whatever, but he just trusts me enough. I don't think I've ever, I'm ever going to bond with an animal like that. No? <clears throat> I don't know about that. Well, there was this one spider in the Underdark. It wasn't too big. It, I think it was like the runt. The other spiders did not like it, but uh. that's why we liked each other. And then one day, they just weren't there anymore. Yes. I don't know what happened to them. What's the saying? If you love something, set it free or whatever. Oh yes, I, it's not like I can capture him or anything. It's a fucking spider the size of a human. But... It didn't try to eat me, so... It, send it. Send it! No, I was looking at the, um, orcs. Oh. Oh, yeah, sorry, the pipe weed. I'm not paying attention much to my surroundings. Both you and Anna are taking up pipe weed. It helps without being too detrimental. I know. I love time. that we are completely sideways. <laughs> True. <laughs> I like night horse rides. This is way better than doing it in the, the daytime. Oh yeah? Mm hmm Well, less likely to be hassled. My eyes don't fucking burn. Yes. That's always nice. Or also, yeah, we're not riding directly into the sun, so that's nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did I ever tell you my theory on the moon? <laughs> Go on. So those black spots on it, right? I think those are settlements. And there are elves living up there. Moon elves. Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. No, I heard that theory before. I think that's where we're from. The moon. I think we crashed on this fucking planet. Yes. How did we I think we, we crashed on this planet. I don't know. We crashed and we went so far into the ground that we created the Underdark. From the explosion. Oh, physics check out from you. <laughs> Write that shit down. I am a scholar. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. That never gets old. I get nervous every time I ride through it. It's so intimidating. When was the last Holy time you were here? Fuck. Uh, weeks, it <laughs> feels like. Well, they've done some changes to the place. It's so bright. Lord Tyler Earnhardt, I hear you and I feel you coming. Open the gates in the oh, name of the Lord. Lord. Thank you for dying. My lord. Aye, aye, my lord. Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time you've been called a maiden today. Listen. She knows I'm just... <laughs> oh, wow, she does really look like a maiden with her hair down. Right. <laughs> Fuck off, the both of you. <laughs> Where is everyone? <laughs> or are you alone? We're over here at the gathering area. Yeah, we're, we're all over here at the gathering area. Have you eaten yet today, Sarah? <laughs> nope. This is my third day too. Well, there's a pot here. 
you should definitely fucking eat. I should roll with Nimlet's uh, food quality today. Yep, I have. You have no idea how many times I've nearly starved this season because I forget to eat. 18! Marin took a roll oh, once. She's getting good food tonight. God, that shit was scary. You're getting good food tonight. I can smell it from here that he cooked. Yay! Can't wait to hang out with a bunch of fucking wood elves. I'm not gonna like He's surprisingly multifaceted and complex. It reminds you in many ways of the rare times you've ever <laughs> feasted. The same food as nobility. Hey, buddy. Alright. Don't wander too far. Enjoy the grass. No biblity. How do you feel? Oh, shall we say, special. Thank you. You are welcome. Lisa You're asleep. You're welcome. How do you feel? Uh, no, Talk she was up. Answer. Where is she, anyways? Mm. Last night saw she, she didn't buy you a memorial. Oh, okay. Is she is she over there? She might be over there at the memorial. Oh, that is nice, nice sound of her. She went in that direction. I should swing by anyway. I'll be right back. <laughs> no worries. Oh, and uh, welcome to our home. There you go. I've been here before. on your senses than you're used to. And it takes you a moment to realize that the air and the environment in here is in stark contrast to that of the rest of the Guardian Coast, where most of it is hot, humid, and murky at the best of times. And here it is very well tempered. Didn't mean to interrupt him. As you place your hand upon the flower, Kyla, the air around you is quiet and as calm as it is, almost seems to drown away 
not just the noise of the outside, but the errant thoughts within their own mind. They almost seem to melt away. Realize... You have not heard... a voice in your mind in many days. faint scent and aroma emanating from these flowers. And while the scent of them is calming, almost sweet, various memories tucked away in the back of your mind come forth to the edge of consciousness. Not distracting, but present. As though standing next to you, a hand on your shoulder. Memories from years ago. A short time in your life, but a whirlwind. And all that has transpired since. I could surround myself with a hundred friends. And still feel alone without the two of you. A gentle breeze rushes past, Kyler. Not distracting, not discomforting, but soothing. As it brushes past the flowers before you, you almost hear a shrill hum as the wind passes between the petals, sounding so much like the musical intonation of a young woman, though maybe it's just you. It almost sounded like her. Almost. The horse is stock still. It reacts to your touch, but it seems almost transfixed. For a moment, it doesn't seem to notice you. But there is nothing. Save the open space and the flora of the grove. Slowly its eye turns to you. It nudges gently against your cheek. In affection. Maybe you feel them too, huh?
I made him back to the others, if you want to come. I think she's still there. You've been in there a few times, you know. I hope they don't <coughs> coy her into getting mixed up in things she shouldn't. Too late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's good. But I am working with the Inquisitor on something. It's the <coughs> idea I came up with. Miss Torchy finished what I needed, and I'm finishing the alchemicals tonight and I will give it to him in the morning. I designed these houses in the morning. But he's gotta get over to his oh alchemy shit. and do the Fuck. Torchy, you finished your pouches. They're in your fucking place. In <sighs> yeah, no, no, I got it. <coughs> no, it's fine. She was complaining. I, I told her to tell you this. Yeah, I got him. I got him. I'm Sorry. an asshole and I <laughs> forget things because I suck. <laughs> suck so bad at remembering Lisa things. Rolling. My but brain what is doing, broken. What he's going to do is he's going to send these pouches to the embassy to fill with gunpowder because they can do the ratio correctly. These pouches, if they work correctly, will help them... Mm, fight Reese Pulse on even footing. In the ground, that thing that's been chasing after on and everybody else. Not a time. tremor, but almost like a ripple. You have never noticed that. Should before. his theory is the only reason why she has this invisibility cloak is that she uses these spores that refract bright that it allow another. her to go invisible to your eyes. Well, this what I'm calling this gonna laugh at me. What I'm calling a sticky bomb of sorts is made of cameric and water petal. And what it is, the water petal will encompass the inner pouch. So when the black powder is ignited, it won't place her hand upon the ground. Fire, <coughs> the fire will not burn the cameric on the outer side of it. So when it bursts open, if that gets on her skin, cameric is a known oil that's very sticky. It's used in a lot of healing potions that help bind some of the agents together. I know that's kind of going over her head, but regardless, if it gets on her skin 
It will cover her body where she can't get it off to where it clogs her pores where she can't release the spores. Thus, her invisibility will become null and void and it will help him fight her on these footing, so to speak. So hopefully this Inquisitor will kill her and get it over with. Hopefully. It's the hope anyways. He was able to harm her with some kind of talisman he had, some kind of magic he said he used. I don't know. Mm. Hey, Wolf is calling you. <laughs> yes, my plucky sister. I'm looking. She's still high. What is that? I think it's kind of worn off. Not entirely sure how far, but... Welcome to our home. Kyler is fine. The pulse of life that radiates the river okay. of the forest. Uh, how about in town? You feel it. Nothing has changed. Uh, either. Doesn't really matter anymore. You're not sure exactly what Lisa's trying to bring your attention to. The ground is fine, the soil looks Thanks. normal. The spirits are saying that. You've them. been here before. A few times, yeah. I was just at the memorial. I'm assuming you knew most, most of the people in the uh, memorial. Most of them. You know that those who a few more than others. Well, closer than others. To a magical persuasion. Mm. That of the wild magic. They typically cannot feel... The it's good that they have a place to uh, <clears throat> rest. Has Lisa mm. become sensitive to it? And don't worry about it. <laughs> We, uh, we take care of them daily. I I usually uh, go out and water them every day when I'm here, that is. Thank you. I know they appreciate it. She's not here, I do it. And she's not here in the morning because this one has to wash back the milk immediately in the morning. Yeah, True. but how about the refugees? So, Maybe can I leave it to you? you uh, take care of it? Maybe just took two years okay. I wouldn't be scared of it, but it is different. Why not, uh, why not you help out, uh, Aaron? What a can be hard. <sighs> I'm not much of a botanist. All you need to do is just it, spit a easy. couple of drops of water tomorrow. Yeah, take it. We'll see. It's a little painful for me to be there sometimes. The I'm sure you understand. Are calm tonight. Mm. Nothing. I mean, if they were people you knew, then yeah, I understand completely. All is well. Yeah. Take are you well? I'm better now that I'm out of the stress of the city, that's for sure. Mm. We are happy to hear it, caretaker. So how long have you happy three and joyful and you three known each other? Me three as in... You, her, and Venora. Or Faye. <laughs> Mm, three, four years, maybe. So, you were there during the events of Letterford? For a long time. All of it. So loud and clear. It's I been, have uh, to close my eyes and focus to hear it. I just... It's been hard. <laughs> I heard all the stories from Faye. Mm, it'd be good if it overrides the... We survived, but 
I don't know. It leaves a mark, you know. Lisa. Your mind swims there. with a mixture of uncertainty, curiosity, frustration, and a hint of fear. And as this all swells within you, the voices recede and the pulses fade. Part of you almost instinctively mm. reaches out as though to pull them back, but they are gone before your hand is even raised. The face still feels Actually, the most clear as day. I mentioned she had multiple oh, crows. No, that hasn't changed. Were any of them like this? Multiple what, sorry? Maiden powers are no takesies backsies. Multiple groves. <laughs> ah, this is, um... You'll be alright, sis. Probably the most intricate of them. You realize that you feel... sad. You know, I was getting the same thing. Um... Sarah, when I touch the ground and I pull, see, it does it to me too, see? I don't know what it is, and we'll have to look at that. Jumping. Yeah, if it's you climbing. put your controller, if you put your control, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh my god. Climb all, except no climb all. Slide on the floor, all. Maybe on the terrain. Maybe it's the same, the same tag. Slide, slide all. Oh yeah, I can do it too. Let's Sticky feet. The you said yourself have the rocks Sticky feet. The... It's everyone, Panora. Everyone. It must be the rock tag. Somehow tagged as well. Everyone is the well, tag is Well, no, if it's tagged everyone as environment, that's wookie probably wookie. why. It's probably tagged with environment. I need to look at that. Fix it, Spearman! It's fix it. it! It's unplayable! Fix it! Right now! Right, right now! now. Right, right now! now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. No RP for you! Um, no RP, only my part. You'll be ex you'll be excited what I showed Brunzi today that you won't see yet. But mm, I heard it out of character. Another cool but, looking map. Yeah. Oh, okay. Me. Excited. No, it's another map. Oh. You're gonna like it. Oh. Lord, you learn hard. Oh. oh. Lord, do some lordy ah. stuff. Exciting. Wow. Lordy, Coming to lord. Fuck everything lord. up. But <laughs> <laughs> lord, lord fuck things up. Episode one. <laughs> What's up, fuckers? It's me, Lord Earhart, Grovel. Don't, don't, don't take any backsies. Let me, I gotta ping Brunzi you want money. I think Kyla just zones out here for tonight. Or goes wherever Sarah goes. Yep, I'm getting there. Wait, you can right here. Okay, yep, so... Eep. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Then, uh, I, my character would just, uh, put a, some blankets and pillows. Oh. Works for me. So cute. You missed it, Lupus. Mm -hmm. We almost killed Gerbom. Why? We mixed a lot of drinks together. Oh no. We made the world wide. <laughs> Worldwide, <laughs> that's amazing. What a name! Yeah. So it 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 had uh it has uh the one hundred year old elven wine, Clifford's brandy, uh dwarven ale, uh Hylothian spiced rum, Theosian schnabs, uh Garadian liquor, uh Jalab moonshine and rum because an anchor was added, and Oh, uh, was there anything else? <laughs> you've po point is... <laughs> you've dabbled in science too far. <laughs> <laughs> we we mixed a little bit of everything. <laughs> Speaking of science too far, uh, 
we, we, you got your fucking axe. Tyler, Tyler, yeah. Tyler, um, do you want to meet Zephy? He's going to come to the Grove in a little bit, or do you want to call it a night? Oh, just yeah, I can. Now before you go, go. I may as well. Fuck it. Is that why uh, it, Sarah hasn't respawned? Uh, okay. I, I know she hasn't. Uh, All right. Oh, no, uh, on a fiver below, you got poisoned from drinking it. No! Five. <laughs> <laughs> right, I gotta jump back in then. Everyone else rolled that lost the seven. See you there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see it. <clears throat> I'm guessing, Sarah, are you sensitive to magic? I'm back, fuckers. No clue. Welcome back. <laughs> We're gonna see okay, well, boy. either way, for a short time, you're gonna see a burst of light go up into the air and then silence. So, <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! Flash brain. <laughs> Fenora's <laughs> doing fucking magic tricks over there. Oh look, magic. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine. Coca-Nine. Coca Coca uh, Harry said he'd give us some uh, spice. Kicks me in the head. Fucking bitch. Mm, have some guy in the back there? <laughs> Make me go underground again. I'll kill you. <laughs> You're going underground again. <laughs> no, no. Well, actually, it'll be your fault if you go underground. Not mine. Oh, he's leaving the choice up to you. I said no. Oh, fuck you. I had a drink. I guess that's a good question. One of you, oh. peasants, get me a drink. I had a dream. Fuck <laughs> <Not> no. <laughs> I love being a lord. <laughs> I would, but I'm charging. <laughs> What, next you want me to fan you? Is that what you're If you're offering. No, it's too cold. Fan you, my lord. Ah, uh, yes, thank right, you. So get the palm trees. <sighs> Do you have any grapes? <laughs> <laughs> Got any grapes? Ba, ba, ba. Probably Man, do, so no, we just time. have lemonade. It's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade. <laughs> Fucking duck. <laughs> The mushrooms. Duck said, fuck your stupid fucking lemonade, you stupid bitch. Fuck you. And then he waddled away. The duck said, do you have a license to be operating a business on these premises, or do I need to talk to the tax service agency? <laughs> um, how about, uh, arrow <laughs> your tax evasion against the IRS? The duck said, give me your fucking lemonade, bitch. No, I've, I've like, stolen from people, I've killed people. But like, I will not fuck with the tax agency. <laughs> like, straight up. Oh, oh, oh. The IRS will fuck me <laughs> over. Time to. IRS. Alright, time to audit the uh, blacksmith. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did somebody oh, say auditor? You got your finances incorrect there. Doors? Triggered. Doors? <laughs> Is that you? Triggered. What do I have? Oh, hello, Mr. G uh, Guildmaster. Wait, can I anyway, I'm picking my card back up now. Jumped by an orc. No, I went underground. <laughs> oh. Burrowed my way, my way here like a mole. <laughs> I mean, I that's an effective way to not be that. caught by an orc. Say again. I wouldn't be surprised if you actually did that. No, I walked along the bottom of the river. Waited until I got to the usual point, and then I just crawled my way here. <sighs> no, 
not stealthy. The only way that I can stealth around is if I'm buried underneath something else. Mm. <laughs> Take Mumbling. I would rather talk about your day. What happened? Uh, I shot a bear through an eye and killed it. Nice. Did you get hide? Did you make a stew? Yeah. I I dragged its whole corpse throughout the town just to see what people were how people were. Yeah, don't 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 call it a corpse. I, I mean, Corpses it was already dead. I, guess. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, if something dies, then it turns into a corpse. Yes, but you could just say you brought the body of the bear instead of the corpse, because the corpse makes it sound like it was a. It, <clears throat> corpse make it sound like it had a whole lot more of a life than just being a bear. Which I'm pretty Did sure. Did it have a family? So after she murdered this bear and turned it into a corpse, she paraded it through the town. <laughs> like a game. Let's say you get your reputation as a hunter. Exactly. <laughs> that's fucked. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up, by the way. And I kill people for a living. <laughs> See how True? <clears throat> I haven't. Would you like to? I've never Not killed yet. anyone. <laughs> no, I don't. Would you like it's to? Would you like to play a game? These people, you're gonna eventually kill something or somebody. The only thing I say, I will. I'll say I kill. Just a while. She's dead. Oh, they died. Oh, they died. David told the train from nope, here, back. and we killed the airline oh, first. Was, uh, I'm back. Yeah. I'm back. Hello? No. You're back, you're back, no. you're back. Both. Dead. Okay. <laughs> what else did I do today? If you're a knife. Tang threw some knives. I threw a knife. Not very well, but he did it. Oh. That's nice. I don't know, your head is looking very knife throwable right now. Go on, show us what you learned. <laughs> <laughs> but if you miss, or I don't die, I swear to God, I'll come for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not you hit me or Laurel, right? Tim. I was for she you. She just took it. <laughs> just assumed it was for her. <laughs> I thought it was what for you. Here they come. She's I west. Hit me. It didn't hit you, no. I'm west, west. And it was for the other trial. Uh. Y'all would definitely be able to tell that the light in her eyes and a lot of her is weakened very much so. He goes uh, here. Let's sit you down here. Thank you, oh, friend. Okay. Snail. Whoa. <laughs> he's been staying here. Is that the talking snail you've been talking about? Yeah, he's been sleeping under hope where I leave his berries and stuff. Hmm. Ah. Good evening. Good evening, friend <laughs> Laura Lai. How have you been? 
I have bitten fine. And you? I've been doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm very happy to hear that. Hmm. Uh, the strange thing that I was uh, saying about is the only thing that sticks out as strange other than that weird antler looking like creature that tried mm. to attack the grove before we've noticed that some of like Normally, I'm used to people who die in the forest that, yes, their bodies decompose over time and goes back into the cycle of the wood. But for some reason, when people have been dying and their bodies have been left where they would normally lay in decay, vines and stuff have been wrapping around them and taking them into the ground, so to speak, like reclaiming them much quicker than normal decomposition would. Have you ever noticed anything strange like that in the past? The forest has a language of its own. Even the trees speak. Their lives much slower than ours. Their conversations can take Yes. However, it is not unheard of for them to also feel the change of the world. Mm. Rebirth, destruction, all things that even they feel particular things about may sometimes come to the surface. The forest is angry. Mm. Mm. What is it angry about, though? The anger mm -hmm. is old. Mm. It is nothing new. The forests have always been upset since the loss of Edla. Mm. But I thought Edla, even though she's gone somewhere, that she's still kind of here, just everywhere is everything that she created. So in a sense, she's still here, but not. It is very different to have the one you love over your shoulder than a message upon a raven away. I hope I can find out where she went. Seems like so many people of her children are looking for her and they can't find her or don't even know what happened to her. I just get inklings of, of she's been ripped away or she's gone or she was taken from me or them. The answer lies with the guardian, I'm sure. So which one do you think it's Lies with the one that's hiding in Ishma, Diadel, the oldest? I don't know. I am unsure. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the never heard guardians. Well, I don't know if he hurt me on purpose or if he hurt me just because he didn't know who I was. I thought they wouldn't hurt their own children, or the wood. 
I cannot tell you the minds of the guardian. Now, I know you said that if they were following that list will, which my understanding of what she created them for was, well, I mean, even though she was a goddess, you know, she can't oversee everything. She can't be across continents at all times. That it was always my belief that she created the guardians and her sisters, her, or, I mean, excuse me, her daughters, the dryads, to be Think able to manage of the guardians as shepherds of the wood. They tend to the forests. They cultivate care and shape. They speak to them as a mother would speak to a child. Now there are very few guardians and the forest is like a child unattended its emotions raging unquelled unkempt wild and dark and in balance all that I know is Etla would never have left of her own choice. Mm. Now that I think about it, we haven't had another interaction with the youngest uh, guardian. It's been quite a while. Mm. Well, he said I built quite a reputation. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I'm guessing it's good. I'm hoping, anyways. It could be. I don't know. <laughs> I know. If <sighs> I did, I would tell friend 